Hello and welcome to today's video. I am bringing you a large home bargains haul. If you've been watching my channel for a little while now, you might already know that I am pretty keen on home bargains. I usually go like maybe every six weeks or so just to stock up on loads of household essentials because they are usually a fraction of a price at home bargains and I just really like browsing around all the aisles and picking up a few odd bits and bobs. So let's get into the video. I will start with the non-cleaning products because the bulk of this haul is going to be a lot of household cleaning products. So yeah, I'll narrow the first few things down to the things that aren't. So first of all, I got some Dove roll-on deodorant. Um, I picked up the original one. Um, I've switched mostly to using roll-on deodorants now. I do still have like a can of deodorant, um, but nine times out of 10, I will reach for a roll-on. Like back in my teenage days, roll-on deodorants used to absolutely disgust me. But it was kind of what I was brought up on. Um, but back in like the early, you know, maybe 2003, um, I just remember roll-on deodorants being really gross. Like they were really wet to apply like under your arms and they would dry all sticky and crusty and disgusting. And I just, oh, they used to make me absolutely cringe. But I think they've obviously upped their game with roll-on deodorants. Um, this is nothing like my teenage memories of roll-on deodorants. It's creamy to apply. It dries really nicely as well. There's no crispy crunchiness. Uh, it's meant to be like good for not leaving white marks, but I do usually get ready in the mornings. I shove a dressing gown on and like I'll pat like under my arms with the dressing gown just in case there's any deodorant residue. Um, but yeah, this is my favourite one, the Dove one. It was like just over a pound or something. So I stocked up on that because mine are running low. Then I picked up a box of Fostrogen, like all purpose plant food. I usually buy this in the summer at Home Bargains because it's reasonable and it helps your flowers keep on flowering throughout the summer months. So yeah, just a good thing to keep in your garage. Then next up, I saw these actually as I walked in. Um, Cause you know, there's sometimes like food food aisles. I picked up some cheese savouries and salt and vinegar savouries. We're having a party for our wedding anniversary next weekend so things like this go down really well in like a bowl with all your buffet food. So yeah I just thought I'd pick up a couple of bags of crisps. Then I got a 12 pack of loo rolls, the Andrex ones. So this is a really good brand of toilet roll. We don't like cheap toilet paper anymore. For 27 year old adults you know life's too short to wipe your bum with cheap horrible toilet paper so it's better to spend a little bit more and they're a good price they're 3 dollars for 12 in home bargains so I normally get them whenever I go to home bargains. That's all of the non-cleaning stuff out of the way and I'm going to get into all the cleaning products now. First things first I picked up a humongous bottle it's a litre of the Stardrops white vinegar this is one of my all-time favourite cleaning products to use. I use this all around the house on glass, sinks, you name it, and white vinegar is pretty good at shining all of your surfaces and it's not like really harsh and chemically, it's quite quite in environmentally friendly to use I think. It's not like bad in terms of like the cleaning products. Three of them because I use a hell of a lot of white vinegar. I like to keep like two or three stocked under my kitchen sink and then I have a couple in my bathroom cupboard because I use them like I say all over the house and they were I think 79p so really really good value and like it says I think you've got 33% extra free because it is a really big bottle so it's going to last well as well. For my bathroom I got some toilet duck you know I know it's not the best for the environment but you've got to clean your toilet somehow and we do have toilet duck in the house. Um, we get the lavender one because we got like purple going on in the bathroom, purple towels. I like the scent of this one. So yeah, that was a pound. Picked that up. Picked up the Fairy Power Spray. If you watch Mrs. Hinch on Instagram, you've probably seen her use this. This is brilliant for like if you've baked something in the oven in kind of like a oven proof dish and it gets all of the like grimy um, burnt food stuff like around the edge if you know what I mean. I'll insert a cutaway if I can. Um, this is really good like once you've dished up, you've eaten your dinner, um, you can 
spray this on before you start your washing up and just spray it on all the kind of black bits the food residue um, leave it while you do the rest of your washing up and then when you come to scour it away this does a lot of the hard work for you um, yeah it just says powerful grease cleaning in just three minutes um, so yeah I tend to leave it while I'm doing the rest of the washing up and um, just spray it on it sits there does it does its magic um, I don't know if that's necessarily for this but that's what I like to use this for and ours is getting low under the kitchen sink so I got another one of that next up I picked up a couple of my favorite Sephora scents these are the pink grapefruit they're the slightly bigger boxes um, what mil 250 mil so yeah they're pretty big um, this is my go-to kitchen disinfectant I mean I must say I have stopped using the flora as much as I used to like I've switched to method cleaning products because they're a little bit more eco-friendly the method stuff um, but I do you do just sometimes need some neat disinfectant don't you um, so yeah I sometimes like I soak my kitchen cloths overnight in a bit of disinfectant to stop them harboring all the nasty bacteria and stuff um, so yeah I do like the flora it's a good price it's 199 big bottle last ages and sometimes like I say you just need some disinfectant especially in your kitchen and bathroom um, so yeah that's my kitchen scent and then I picked up the lavender one for the bathroom it's a smaller bottle um, like I say you just need a bit of disinfectant around your bathroom toilet and sinks and stuff um, and I like the lavender one for the bathroom because it's a little bit more of like a relaxing scent as opposed to the citrusy scents in the kitchen yeah so I've started using that just in like the toilet brush holder down the toilet and stuff like that and it's also quite nice if you want to clean your kitchen sink just run a bowl put a cap full of this and then you can wipe all around taps and all stuff like that where you touch and all the bacteria gets harboured um, so yeah I don't use it loads but if I do want to disinfect the bathroom this is what I will use and speaking of bathroom I picked up a bathroom mop never heard of this but that is the power action bathroom mop I've got a kitchen mop from power action same brand and I thought this was a really good idea as you can see it's triangular shaped so it's going to get into like all the nooks and crannies of your bathroom because obviously like where you've got your toilet and then your sink there's like quite small areas that you can't always get into with your big mop and as well I, I always used to think like I don't really like using my kitchen mop like in my bathroom like I'd always wash the mop head after I used it for the bathroom just because you don't really want to be cross contaminating like your cleaning products from one room to the next um, so having a separate mop for your bathroom seems like a really good idea and I have recently stopped using floor wipes um, even though they were really good at getting in like all the little areas you can't get reach um, but this is going to definitely do the trick as you can see the head pivots nicely so it's going to get into all of those hard to reach areas and I mean it does look small uh, this extends so it's fine you're still going to be able to mop um, but the, I mean the actual mop head looks small but if you think about it your bathroom area the floor area is not as big as your kitchen so you don't need such a big mop head I don't think and um, so yeah I thought that was a really good idea and it was like only a couple of pound and um, so I picked a bathroom mop up on a similar note I got a spare mop head for my kitchen mop same brand power action as you can see it's got these sort of like microfibery strandy bits I usually like to have like a backup mop head so once I've used the other one in my kitchen a couple of times I can bung that one in the wash and then I've got another one ready to go the next day um, I do mop the floor in the kitchen quite a lot just because you know when you're cooking and stuff you want your floor to be clean in case anything drops um, not that we eat stuff off the floor but my floor should be clean enough that we could eat stuff off the floor and we wouldn't exactly get sick I think it was 70 to 80 pence really reasonable then I kind of went a little bit crazy and got a massive pack of yeah 20 microfiber cloths uh, same brand power action and these were such a good price they were 3 99 for 20 and I mean I think when I looked at the other microfiber cloths you got four in a pack for like two pound or something so I was like this is a no-brainer like I use microfiber cloths all the time because you've got all the different colors I think there's four no three so you've got the blue 
purple and orange. You can use them for all different rooms in your household, um, different jobs, different tasks, and this pack is literally gonna last a lifetime. I mean, am I ever gonna need to buy a microfiber cloths again? Probably not. Don't know if they're the large ones, they look quite big. Hopefully they're not, they're just medium. Because the big ones can get a little bit lost in your hand sometimes when you're wiping it all round. But for four pound, I thought you can't really go wrong with that, so I'm always using them. And then on the same aisle, I picked up some of these sponge wipes. Now, I don't use these a hell of a lot, but they are really good to have around your kitchen sink or your bathroom sink. Obviously not the same one. So if you've got like lots of, like obviously when you're cleaning or if you're washing up and there's a bit of, there's a pool of water, get one of these and wipe it over and it absorbs water like no one's business because it's because of the sponge it just like takes away that excess moisture and yeah I just like it for stuff like that really if you've got a bit of excess that's dripped over wipe it over with one of these that's mostly what I use them for they're not my favorite thing I know Mrs Hinch uses these quite a lot but that's mostly what I'll have these for just to wipe up bit of moisture I mean I'll occasionally clean the kitchen tops down with these but yeah I prefer a microfiber cloth over these but they are very good absorbing water liquids you know I picked up a minky now I know the minky craze has probably died down a little bit but I still do use minky um, I managed to get a minky back when the hype was like crazy for minky um, I think it's overrated don't get me wrong but I still enjoy using it. So when I saw it in Home Bargains, like there was loads of them, like since when have Home Bargains been selling Minky? Um, I, I couldn't help but pick another one up because they are really good for lots of different things around the house. And then when you're using it for different tasks, you don't want to be using the same one. So I like to have a couple like under the sink, as is the general theme of this video apparently um, but yeah I picked up a minky it's as you can see I mean you've seen a minky haven't you? you if you're watching this video I would very highly expect you to know what a minky looks like but it's got the kind of scratchy material on one side and then this sort, sort of like microfiber on the other side um, yeah, I do like using it. These seem to be a lot better made than the ones that I got. And everyone was going crazy for Minky. Um, I think they were quite cheaply churned out, but now they are a lot more durable. They've got a little Minky um, label on them and they just feel a little bit better quality, I must say. Yeah, so he was £2.50. I mean, yeah, look, even now he has got a little few, like, strands. I don't know why they have that. But yeah, this does feel better quality than the one that I bought, like when everyone was going absolutely crazy for Minky. So yeah, got a Minky, £2.50. He'll be going under the sink, really, because this is the most boring thing to have as the last thing in the haul. But I picked up some rubber gloves. I I use rubber gloves to wash up with when I'm doing like heavy duty cleaning. I do put gloves on because um, I wear my wedding ring and stuff. I don't want it to get damaged. Um, so yeah, I picked up a power action, size medium. I think I probably could have done with small, but I couldn't find any. And they were about 59p, because I can feel my ones in the kitchen are giving up the ghost a little bit. They're very worn out. Um, so I, I will soon need some new rubber gloves to clean with. So that is everything in my home bargains haul. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I mean, you probably if you've clicked on this video you must like home bargains videos hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time bye bye